cultivating peace through ancient Chinese wisdom, a deep dive into Confucianism. Ancient China boasts a treasure trove of philosophical perspectives on achieving inner peace and living a fulfilling life. Among these, Confucianism, founded by the venerated Confucius, stands out as a prominent school of thought emphasizing harmony, purpose, and present-mindedness. Let's delve deeper into these core tenets and explore how they can guide us towards a more peaceful existence. Thence in the, the Tapestry of Harmony. At the core of Confucianism lies a profound concept, harmony. This isn't just about avoiding conflict, but a multifaceted tapestry woven with threads of inner peace, harmonious relationships, and connection with the natural world. It's a journey of self-cultivation, where each step leads you closer to serenity and a fulfilling life. The first thread is peace within. Imagine a tranquil lake reflecting the clear sky. Cultivating Ren Rit, Nenni, the virtue of humanity, is like nurturing that inner stillness. It's about radiating kindness, empathy, and compassion, not just towards others, but also towards yourself. The self-love fosters acceptance, reducing internal conflict, and allowing genuine peace to blossom. The second thread connects you to your family and society. Picture a family gathered around a warm hearth, sharing laughter and stories. Zioak Shioe, the virtue of filial piety, reminds you of your roots and the importance of respect and care for your elders and loved ones by fulfilling your familial roles with dedication. You contribute to a harmonious household, creating a ripple effect of peace that extends outwards. Third thread binds you to the wider community. Imagine a bustling marketplace filled with diverse voices and interactions. Lately, AI lie. The virtue of propriety guides you in navigating these social spaces with grace and respect. It's not about rigid rules, but about understanding your role, respecting others, and acting with integrity. By fostering courteous interactions, you contribute to a peaceful and well-functioning society. These threads intertwine, creating a beautiful tapestry. When you cultivate Ren, Xio, and Li, you build a foundation for inner peace and contribute to harmony in your relationships and community. This ripple effect can extend further, creating a more peaceful and just world. But this journey isn't always easy. There will be moments of discord both within yourself and with others. Remember, Harmony is not the absence of conflict, but the ability to navigate it with grace and understanding. By applying the principles of Ren, Xio, and Li, you can transform conflict into opportunities for growth and strengthen the bonds of peace. And don't forget the natural world. Imagine a serene garden where the wind whispers through leaves and birdsong fills the air. Living in harmony with nature is another vital thread in the tapestry, appreciating its beauty, respecting its rhythms, and living sustainably can bring a deep sense of peace and connection to something larger than yourself. So, embark on this journey of harmony. Cultivate the virtues, nurture your relationships, and connect with the natural world. Remember, the path to peace is a continuous weaving, a tapestry that grows richer and more beautiful with each mindful step you take. Finding meaning and purpose. Confucianism, like a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of social harmony, emphasizes the crucial role of finding purpose within the social order. This isn't a rigid assignment of positions, but rather an understanding of your unique contributions to the web of relationships that form society. Whether you wear the mantle of son, daughter, ruler, or subject, each role carries distinct responsibilities and opportunities that bring meaning and direction to your life. The concept of filial piety serves as a foundational thread in this tapestry. It's not mere obedience, but a profound respect and care for your family lineage, extending beyond your parents to embrace ancestors and future generations. Fulfilling these responsibilities creates a sense of belonging and stability, anchoring you within a larger narrative that transcends individual existence. But why is purpose so central to peace and Confucianism? Imagine a lone thread dangling loose, disconnected from the tapestry. It flutters with uncertainty, lacking purpose and direction. Conversely, 
A thread securely woven into the fabric contributes to the overall beauty and functionality of the tapestry. Just so, by understanding your role and embracing your responsibilities, you find your place within the social order, fostering not only inner peace but also contributing to the collective harmony of society. Think of the son diligently caring for his aging parents, the daughter leading with wisdom and justice, the ruler governing with benevolence, or the subject upholding social order with respect. Each, by fulfilling their role, weaves a thread of peace into the larger tapestry. But purpose isn't static. As you evolve and grow, your understanding of your role may need to adapt. A young son may initially focus on simple acts of obedience, while a mature son might offer guidance and support. This continuous refinement of your role, driven by self-reflection and growth, keeps the thread vibrant and strong. Remember, finding your purpose isn't about self-aggrandizement. It's about recognizing your place within the bigger picture, understanding how your actions impact others and contributing to the well-being of the entire community. In this sense, you become a thread woven, not just into the social fabric, but into the very tapestry of peace. Perhaps embracing the present moment. Confucian's a mind of the presence. Confucian strategies for peace. Confucianism, known for its emphasis on harmony and self-cultivation, offers a unique perspective on achieving peace. Embracing the present moment. This philosophy challenges the human tendency to dwell on past mistakes or fret about the future, viewing them as obstacles to tranquility. Instead, it urges us to root ourselves in the now, finding peace through fulfilling our immediate duties and approaching each moment with mindfulness and diligence. On the pitfalls of dwelling. Confucius warned against getting ensnared by regrets and anxieties. Spending time ruminating on past failures or catastrophizing about future possibilities not only steals enjoyment from the present, but also cultivates negativity and dissatisfaction. Dwelling in the past hinders learning and growth, while future anxieties paralyze action and finding peace in the present. The antidote, according to Confucianism, lies in focusing on the here and now. This isn't about blind optimism or ignoring future plans. Instead, it emphasizes fully engaging with the present moment, whether it be completing a task, conversing with a loved one, or simply appreciating the beauty of nature. By attending to the details of the present, we cultivate a sense of groundedness and purpose. Clay Practices for Present-Mindedness Actions advocated for several practices to cultivate present-mindedness. Just approach each task, no matter how mundane, with focus and intention. This simple act brings awareness to the present moment and fosters a sense of accomplishment. Fulfilling your roles and responsibilities in family and society, whether caring for parents or completing work tasks, provides a sense of purpose and grounding in the present. Cultivating an attitude of gratitude for the present moment, even for small things, helps counteract negative emotions and cultivates contentment. Spending time in nature fosters mindfulness by engaging the senses and reminding us of the cyclical rhythm of life where the present moment always prevails. And the techniques. Embracing the present moment in the Confucian sense goes beyond mere mindfulness techniques. It's about developing a philosophical outlook that values the now as the foundation for a peaceful and fulfilling life. It's about understanding that true happiness lies not in dwelling on the past or chasing an uncertain future, but in appreciating the richness and potential of the present moment. Embrace the here and now with Confucian wisdom and experience the tranquility that arises from anchoring your mind in the present. That's beyond the basics. Find the tenets, unveiling deeper layers of peace in Confucianism. While the emphasis on harmony, purpose, and present-mindedness lays the groundwork for peace in Confucianism, venturing deeper reveals richer dimension. More than tradition, a thread of unity. Confucian rituals aren't merely customs. They're meticulously crafted expressions of respect, gratitude, and social order. 
Ancestral veneration ceremonies, for instance, transcend honoring the past. They strengthen the sense of belonging, weaving a tapestry of connection between generations, fostering peace within families and communities. Rituals provide a framework for expressing values, reminding individuals of their roles and responsibilities, creating a sense of unity and purpose that transcends the individual. Action Self-Cultivation – A Lifelong Journey to Peace Confucianism views education as a lifelong pursuit, not just acquiring knowledge but cultivating oneself morally and emotionally. This Junzi, Ai Junzi ideal, the noble person, embodies constant learning, reflection, and self-correction. Studying ancient texts, mastering various skills, and engaging in critical thinking aren't ends in themselves but tools for refining character, leading to inner peace and social harmony. So it's not just about knowing, but about becoming, building a peaceful disposition through continuous self-improvement. Memory resonating with it. Confucian music and art aren't mere entertainment. They're expressions of balance and order, mirroring the harmony sought in life. Music with its calming melodies and rhythmic structures resonates with the soul, inducing peaceful states. Calligraphy with its emphasis on balance and flow, reflects inner harmony and discipline. Engaging with these art forms isn't passive consumption. It's an active invitation to cultivate harmony within oneself. These are just glimpses into the vast world of Confucianism. Its richness lies in the interconnectedness of these elements, where rituals reinforce values, education cultivates harmony, and art echoes inner peace. By exploring these deeper layers, we gain a richer understanding of how Confucian wisdom can guide us towards a more peaceful and fulfilling life, not just individually, but also as part of a connected community. Applying Confucian Wisdom Applying Confucian Wisdom in Daily Life A modern guide ran while rooted in ancient China, Confucian ideals of harmony, purpose, and present-mindedness transcend time and geography. Let's explore how their timeless wisdom can be woven into the fabric of your modern life. Translating compassion, empathy. Start small, offer genuine smiles, helpful gestures, or active listening to those around you. Seek diverse perspectives, read books, watch documentaries, and engage in respectful conversations with people from different backgrounds. Volunteer your time or resources contribute to causes you care about, alleviating suffering and fostering respecting and caring for loved ones. Express gratitude verbally and through actions. Thank your family and loved ones for their presence. Offer support during challenges. Listen actively. Offer words of encouragement and provide practical assistance when needed. Celebrate moments, big and small share meals, engage in shared activities, and create lasting memories together diligence and responsibility in our duties. Approach tasks with mindfulness and focus, avoid distractions, and give your full attention to what you're doing. Set realistic goals and strive for excellence. Challenge yourself while acknowledging your limitations. Reflect on your performance and seek continuous improvement. Learn from mistakes and actively seek feedback to grow. Embracing the present moment Practice mindfulness, engage in activities like meditation, deep breathing, or spending time in nature to anchor yourself in the... Savor simple pleasures, pay attention to the taste of your food, the warmth of the sun, or the beauty of a flower. Let go of past regrets and future anxieties. Focus on what you can control and trust that life unfolds as it should. Nurturing inner peace. Incorporate mindfulness practices, engage in meditation, journaling, or yoga to quiet your mind and cultivate inner awareness. Find an outlet for creative expression, explore activities like painting, writing, or music to express your inner world and release stress. Seek guidance from mentors or spiritual communities, connect with others who share your values, and can offer support on your journey to peace. Remember, true peace is a lifelong journey not a destination. By incorporating these Confucian principles into your daily life, you can cultivate a deeper sense of purpose, connection, and inner tranquility. Take this wisdom as a guide, adapt it to your unique context, 
and embark on your own path towards greater harmony and peace.